when I got here in 2008, you know, a lot, I had a lot of questions for our, our head winemaker, Rob Davis, asking him, what would you like to see different? What would you like to see change? Where do you see our program going? And what would you like me to, to help you, to assist you in as far as improving the program? He also explained to me that he can walk down a row and he can taste the change before we pick when the grapes are starting to get ripe. When Rob is walking along and says, I really like the flavors that I get right here. I really enjoy the complexity of the grapes right here. We can isolate that spot and we can say, okay, we wanna make all our practices resemble this specific area. And that is the great source of information for us because now we have a goal to achieve. What we, what Rob and I sat down and, and others sat down and decided to do was to go ahead and employ um, a company to come in and assist with us in, in mapping the ranch. The soil mapping study allows us to see where the profile changes, where the soil changes from um, the different textures change, the, the soil characteristics overall change, um, where it's rocky, where there's higher or lower water holding capacity, where there's different levels within the stratas. It, it allows us to see where we are and where we're at within a given area and how it changes. Over the course of a year, we, we ended up digging over 40 backhoe pits. So at each soil pit location, the, some pits are three feet, some, some pits are as deep as five feet and can be deeper. Um, and what we'll, what we'll end up doing and what we'll see is the different colors that each soil pit actually, um, actually displays. And we, we go as far as taking the, the sand, silt, and clay, the textures, the friability. And what's also really neat to see is we'll take the Munsell color chart and we'll actually compare that to it and it tells you exactly, um, it, it gives you a better guide on exactly what you're looking at and what those soils are actually contributing um, to the program. The estate was originally planted um, to about 30 different uh, vineyard blocks and after the study is now completed we're looking at uh, two to three times as many blocks and we'll go ahead and break those current blocks into sub blocks. By further subdividing the, the state blocks it'll allow us to create our growing practices, our farming practices on a block by block basis and it'll actually be a sub block by sub block basis and that'll really allow us to hone in on exactly our, what we're trying to achieve and, and try to almost alter the soils and alter the growing patterns and changing the water holding capacity, changing the irrigation and the fertilizing practices to achieve the goal that Rob wants us to, to achieve consistency and uniformity across the block. We're extracting the fruit characters that he wants while also eliminating the, the vine to vine variability or the zone to zone variability, which is really important. In the last two years from the soil study, from working with the winemaking team, um, We've learned so much and you want to be able to give Rob and his team exactly the most consistent product every year, the grapes, the most complex, best tasting fruit that you can possibly give them and it's a slow, it's, it's real slow going. Uh, you know, you want it overnight but you only get to do it once a year so it's a long, it's a long tough road but we're getting there, we see a lot of really good light at the end of the tunnel and um, it feels as though we're on track.